Hello, good evening. Um, another video for me with some uh, music from No Man, uh, the collection that I have and some information that I got from the internet. And if you have some more information, please be free to uh, put it down on the on YouTube. Maybe it's nice to uh, to know more about the band. So uh, let's try uh, to make a big video on again. Again, uh, I will read something uh, to you. Um, producing a cinematic art rock music with diverse influences drawn from dream pop, prog rock, post rock, minimalism, electronica, ambient and chamber jazz, No Man is a British band formed out of the creative partnership of Tim Bowness and Stephen Wilson, who met and began writing together in the summer of 1987. Before 1987, Stephen Wilson had brought out a track called From a Toy Show Window, under the name No Man Is An Island Except The Isle Of Man. This track is on the Exposure album. It's a, a, an album with uh, all kinds of uh, bands uh, on the, that Stephen Wilson had brought out. Um, and uh, the track uh, from the Toy Shop Window is on that album. It's the first track on vinyl, I think, from Stephen Wilson. There was another album, uh, the uh, Exposure 2, and uh, on that second album there was another track uh, and it shortened to No Man Is An Island. On that album also was Plenty, uh, a band uh, by uh, by Tim Bowness, and I think they met uh, each other like that. Um, the first final from No Man Is, uh, is An Island is The Girl From Missouri. I have this one, it's uh, a copy or a download. So it's it's normally a 12 inch, the girl from Missouri, and uh, Stuart Blackden is on this one. Uh, he left the band uh, after this one. So this is from 1989, and, and has this tracks on it. Four tracks. I don't know how I have given uh, the CDs was given by me, so I don't know how exactly this was made by. Uh, but it's nice. It, uh, I just listened to it. Nice quality of sound. The second uh, thing that came out um, was the a cassette named Swagger. And this is drawn from the cassette. It's uh, from 89 and No Man Is An Island. You see that's, that's still the, the name of the band. After Swagger it turned into No Man. These are the tracks from that 12 inch cassette, no 12 inch but cassette. It's very nice to have. And um, then uh, when Stuart Blackman left the band, the Ben Coleman and uh, Tim Bowness and uh, Stephen Wilson came on and they uh, yeah, had a self released single Colors. Um, it was an awarded single of the week and Melody Maker, Sounds and Channel 4, Teletext and led to the band being signed to the publishers Hit and Run and One Little Indian Records. So over the years the band has worked with Robert Fripp, Ian Carr, Mel Collins, Pat Mestalotto, Bruce Kappen, Colin Edwin, Gavin Harrison, Theo Travis, the trio of Jensen, Barbieri and Khan from X japan and others. And the first studio album was Love Size and Entertainment 1992. I have this from the from the, from the internet. I hope I, it's at, uh, from the band side sell, uh, themselves. So I hope it's okay. I have this copy. I have a um, CD, and this is from France. So the booklet with the, with the lyrics. And the tracks here that are on the album. And it says here Love Size and Entertainment was No Man's first mini album released in 19, April 1992 on the One Little Indian label. The release compromised a collection of the band singles and B sides from 1990 and 1991. Both Colors and Days in the Trees were singles of the week. The Melody Maker, Sounds and on Channel 4's Teletext. So that's the first one. The next one is Love Blows and Love Cries, A Confession. 
I have this on CD also. The front the booklet with again the lyrics. CD and the tracks that are hit on here. So I don't know if I have all the tracks. There are a lot of singles coming out uh, from nowhere, so I don't know that. Well, let's uh, leave it here. It was released in UK by Low Hundred Indian Records in May 1993 in a slightly different format in the USA on 550 Music in May 1994. Taking it, it Like a Man, a single taken from the US version of the album reached number 34 on the Billboard Dance Chart in April 1994 and was used on the US TV Drama Models Incorporated. Critically lauded at the time of this re its release, the album was considered by the likes of UK magazine Melody Maker and Lime Lizard as an intriguing combination of art rock, ambition, synth pop textures and infectious hooks. It's also on, uh, on double CD, that, uh, this one, Love Blows and Love Cries, together with the first CD I show. The next one, Flower Mouth, from 1994, the second studio album by Nome. I have oh, the CD, there's also a vinyl version, of course, of course, but uh, it's very expensive. The tracks. CD on K-Scope and the back side. Released on uh, June 27th, 1994 on one of the Indian Records label. Um, and is, it was brought out in the deluxe format by Snapper Music in February 2005. It's the band's most ambitious album to date and remains a fan favorite. Uh, includes guest performances from Japan, Rain, Three Cows, Jensen and Barbieri, King Crimson's Robert Fripp and Mel Collins, Jazz Top Trumpeteer Ian Carr and Dead Can Dance singer Lisa Jarrett. It, was, uh, it is also on vinyl, so as I said, and CD and cassette. Flower Mouth. I don't know if, if I think it's the best, uh, but it's a nice, uh, nice CD. Then we're coming to Wild Opera. Uh, nice, but a jazzy, jazzy kind of uh, album. Front with some stickers. So let's set them. I don't know what it does there. My CD cover broke a little bit. Booklet. Nice photograph. It says a lot from, from photographs taken from the private collection of Stephen Wilson. This is the back side. I think some very, very nice tracks on this one. Jazzy, a bit funky. Sinister Jazz, Speed Genius, Housewife Hulk on the Heroin. I think this is very nice. Time Travel in Texas. Very nice. Also Life, of course. CD. the back side of the CD. Based on uh, May 31, 1996, was a far darker, more beat-driven and willfully exp exploratory album than the preceding Flowermouth. Melancholy, balladry and cinematic art rock was still in evidence, but this time it was joined by industrial trip-hop and other excursions than the band had attempted before. I think it's a bit jazzy. It's also on cassette and double CD, uh, and the double CD uh, has also Dry Clean Ray uh, uh, there on, and I have that copy also, it's this one, it says Norman Wild Opera, the back side, and you see in the back side that there are two CDs in it, Wild Opera is the same, and then the Dry Clean Ray with a lot of additional tracks. Jewel case. And uh, you see the two CDs here. Dry Cleaning Reese Grey is considered a compilation album on the website, I don't know why. 
maybe a lot of tracks from other albums of course Look at the booklet with some nice pictures and text here yeah, from Richard Smith director of No Man Mixtapes Returning nostalgic, nostalgic pictures the booklet here you see the people are playing on it So, what opera? The next uh, dry cleaning ray, I, I will say something about dry cleaning ray. It was intended to be a companion release to what opera album. Um, several tracks offer u other uses of Stephen Wilson's previously released music in this case Jack the Sax re reissues the guitar progression from Wake as a Gun on the Porcupine Tree release in Significance while Night Liner offers a different pers perspective on the color of air from the sky move sideways also by Porcupine Tree we come to the next album from 2001 Returning Jesus and I have a, a few copies of this one a CD the first CD was in 2001, Hidden Art, and this is a 2002 CD. I don't, I don't show you everything from this booklet because I have a lot of shown on vinyl and it's made much nicer. Very nice album also. Maybe the, for me, the favorite one. And there's also an, uh, another uh, CD, and this is from uh, um, two CD from 2017. This is a very okay scope and uh, the difference is that there are two CDs on it with a lot of um, EP tracks, demos, alternate versions. So I'll show you the side that is special on this CD. You can watch the tracks. Nice picture, black and white. CDs text. There's also a nice booklet in here. Very nice cover. Colors. Blue, purple. Pictures. Nice. So I told you I have another, some vinyl version of this one. Two vinyls. One vinyl I've already shown. This is the two album case scope in 2017. With the lyrics and you see the, the art the bird on the right side the back side the, al the albums Side one, side two, with some printed inner sleeve with a lot of text on it. Nice picture, Tim and Stephen. A lot of text, and no, a photograph. And a nice picture again. And the labels from the albums from free and four so that's the album from k scope i already also have the album on tone float and uh, let's see where the cover is <laughs> that's nice well, let's show you the vinyl first the vinyls are very special it's a tree album and it's on special colored vinyl. Tom Float always really always makes very nice work from their albums so this is side A another night label B
This is also on black vinyl. Three versions, three album version. This is purple, horrible purple version. The last one is with special tracks that are also on the CD. So, Steven and on the other side the thing. Let's see if I can get the cover because that's what I want to show you. I need mean, this, this one. Yeah. So you see here the case scope, these tracks, and this is from the tone float. And you see here side D and E. Let's see if I can show you right. So this is the tone float. There's some little differences between, between the artwork. So very nice to have. So I will uh, stop with part one because my photo camera cannot make films longer than 70 minutes. So I hope to see you in part two. Bye bye.